I'm Katie Hamilton Schaefer. I go beyond the plate, the bottle, and the red carpet seeking stories about people, places, events, and the causes that inspire them to feast it forward. Join me on my adventure for all things food, wine, and philanthropy. Sonoma International Film Festival, where amazing films, food, and wine come together to benefit the arts. I'm looking forward to meeting up with Chris Sawyer, Feast It Forward's very own sommelier. While I'm here, he's promised to introduce me to Classic Wines, a producer of some of the most phenomenal brands in Sonoma. I have a little surprise. What? I got a little Chardonnay here from something that I, I thought you could tell me about. Three Sticks, Chard. Three Sticks, one of my favorite wineries around here, and uh, they have a lot of history, actually. The Durrell Vineyard right up here is really one of the most historic vineyards for Chardonnay and Pinot Noir in this whole entire area. On the hillside is kind of that more melony, beautiful kinds of flavors that are a little bit more tropical by nature. It's a beautiful, beautiful vineyard. It's not that far away from right here where we're sitting. So I'm gonna meet a friend this afternoon for another film, and I wanted you to tell me a little bit about the wine. Okay. I'm gonna sneak this into the theater. I hope they don't know because I got some Stolzel glasses to go with me. We Black. gotta have it out of Stolzel glasses because it just tastes better. Head high Pinot? Oh yeah. Or, excuse me, Rosé. I really like this because it's really made with grapefruit from right out here, a little bit more Carneros, aspects here and you've got the great San Giacomo family which is a really famous family from this area that provides a little bit of this fruit. I look forward to, to tasting this at some point uh, along the way this weekend. I'm and take that back and oh, that <laughs> I thought I was going to score that. Sonoma has a very unique air about it. With its interesting topography, it's no wonder why Sonoma boasts over 60 varieties of wine grapes and produces over 5% of all wine in California. It's a place of intrigue that I can't wait to explore. Up next, we visit the Vallejo Castaneda Adobe, one of the oldest living residences in Sonoma County. Recently, Classic Wines restored the property, transforming it into the home of the Three Sticks wine brand. And lucky for us, they're popping the cork on a special wine for us to try. This is the Three Sticks from Sonoma Coast and, and Durrell Vineyard. And these, these vines take a little bit of thrashing each year because of the winds that come over that hill from the Sonoma Coast. I think you'll taste why this is very unique in the glass. It's vibrant, tangy, good acidity. So it's a very special, special vineyard and that's why this not only is a beautiful wine to drink by itself, but with fine foods and fine cheeses, I would have no problem opening many, many bottles of this wine. We decide to get some sunlight and enjoy the venue before we move on to our next experience. And this time, I think Chris has a little something up his sleeve. Well, this is the storehouse. It's kind of modeled after the old ammunition depot that the general had, General Vallejo had. And uh, except this time, it's kind of loaded with a bunch of killer wine. So I would say we go in and I taste you on another one. So we've got quite the treasure trove mm. of fine wines here. So I think we should probably try another one at least. A little Russian River. Oh, it's chewier. Yeah. That's really interesting. The, yeah. the Durrell was much leaner yeah. and, and bright, and this is a little richer. It's, you have some tannins in here, hmm. you know? This is that kind of like wine that you could really taste with a, a really nice piece of red meat. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I would really like a piece of red meat with this. Right. I think that's really the secret of Russian River Valley is that really they make amazing wines there, but it's finding the great, you know, sites that really showcase that. And I think this is a very good example of that. It's no secret that Classic Wines are passionate about their craft. And in line with the film festival, we meet up with Patricia Perez, an equally passionate producer and director of Finding Gaston, a film about the passions of a young chef and the people around him. ¿Cómo usamos el poder que tiene la cocina para transformarle la vida a las personas? People here they pick up the film in diff at a different yep. pace than other countries. They're such a food lover, so they're always catching the little flavor beads, and you know, it's interesting. 
I wanted to bring a wine that would show you a little bit about California. And this is a great one from Gary Farrell Winery. And this is a Russian River uh, proprietor, but this is a fruit from Dry Creek Valley. I love the full-bodied essence of the Gary Farrell wine. It's really delicious. The dark fruit flavors give way to this lively juiciness, making it a vibrant Zinfandel, and definitely one of my favorites. The passion and the love that people has when it comes to food, you feel it. It's like here, I can feel it in this city. And when you okay. set a foot in Peru, you will find out that people is either talking about food or eating. And you know what is so funny? That I've been only in Sonoma for less than 24 hours, 12 hours. I heard at least six people saying, well, you know, the wine that I have tastes like this and like that. And I, right. I think that's just fascinating it because it seems like, you know, everybody yeah. is able it's to- It's like every child. Every to child have, is yeah, like they, every family have money. their own, which is amazing. Overall, this was an incredible weekend at the Sonoma International Film Festival. Not only did I see outstanding films and meet interesting people, but thanks to my friend, sommelier Chris Sawyer, I got to drink three stellar classic wine brands, Gary Farrell, Head High, and Three Sticks. I look forward to my next visit to the place where everyone has a smile on their face and a glass in their hand. <laughs>